All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day number four of Autodesk Fusion. Today we're going to be working on sweeps, paths, and profiles. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the piece I've got in front of me is the part I'm going to make. Now for today, I'm going to use the application ver version of Fusion. It seems like the servers on the browser-based version are a little bit on overload right now, so they're pretty slow. I tried recording a video earlier, but uh, the part kept freezing on me, and I had to have to reload the page. Um, but we should be good here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, just make this part. Now, the one thing I am going to talk about is how to do a sweep. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the path of our hanger. And in order to do that, what I'm going to do is just make an overall sketch about what's, what's going to happen. Um, now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an arc. Let's go ahead and just do... Oh, that's a three-point arc. There we go. Arc. Three-point arc. There we go. Now I'm going to hit the L key just to draw some quick lines. Now this isn't perfect uh, by any means, but this will definitely get the job done. So I'm going to draw my path of a typical hanger. Let's make this gentleman a little wide. All right, and then all the way across, that was 100. Let's do the same thing with 100 this way. And then up. And then what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to connect these two profiles or so this and make a full shape with it. The reason being is that um, this is the path we want our sweep to take, not necessarily the shape that we're going to do with it. Um, the only thing I need to do here now is um, since we got our path, we have to define what our profile is going to look like. So over here on the left hand side, you notice that there are some origin files. Uh, that we can make visible. And this allows me to see my X, Y, Z axes and their planes. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a new sketch that's going to be um, perpendicular to my current path. And so I'm going to hit new sketch, click on there. Now what this allows me to do is I'm creating another sketch that's going to be perpendicular to my path. This allows me to create my profile. So even though I can't really see it right here, that hanger shape is still there. So what I'm gonna do is, for the sake of exaggeration, I'm gonna make this a, uh, let's do a five millimeter thickness, and let's finish the sketch there. I'm gonna go ahead and make my other work planes invisible, and now here's what we got so far. Next thing to do is actually work on our sweep. So over on the right hand side, you'll see um, the types of sweeps that you can do. We're going to do a single path, select our profile, and that's going to be the thickness of the hanger, and then the path it's going to take. Alrighty. Now, if for some reason that this isn't quite working, usually what the problem is you run to is you make a full geometry shape, like a circle or a square. Um, Making a path can sometimes run into problems, especially if uh, the path touches but then continues on. So making sure that the path is uninterrupted is one thing. And then the second thing is to make sure your profile is somewhere along that path. It doesn't need to be in the middle like here, but it has to be either the beginning, the end, or somewhere in the middle. Alrighty guys, uh, I think that's going to be it for us today. We can play around with our profiles if you'd like. and but. That'll be it for us. Alrighty, I will see you on the next video.